guy came in with a 1970s Ibanez guitar, and it's still in pretty good shape. So I had Jesse come down to give me his opinion. What's up, dude? What's up, man? What's going on? We brought you a guitar to nerd out on. All right. Later 70s Ibanez. A little musician. That's what they called this one. Um, what do you need to know? I just don't know that much about Ibanez. This <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's... Well, you know, Ibanez is a good company. They, you know, Steve Vai uses Ibanez. Uh, Jerry Garcia has been known to use Ibanez. They, they have a lot of, a lot of bigger name artists that use their stuff. Kind of a little bit associated now with a little bit more like metal. They're really well-made guitars. They had like the musician series and the artist series. The musician was like the working man's kind of guitar. And then the artist was a little bit fancier. Real similar guitars in design. But you'd see like the artists would have binding and like they had this inlay they called the tree of life which was like vines and leaves that went all the way up the neck and stuff like that ibanez today is still one of the top dogs in the guitar world they're used by thousands of guitar players they've always been a really consistent good guitar company they had a lot of kind of cool design features on these too man like the neck through design the piece of wood that the neck is made of goes all the way through the whole body a lot of people think it makes the guitar sustain better you mind if I pick it up later? Uh, absolutely. Oh. Yeah, that's cool. Cool little guitar, man. So what's it worth, man? Well, you know, the artist series of these, they'll go up to the, you know, the three, four, five thousand dollar range. The musician series, there is a good collector's market for these and stuff. So really clean ones of these, probably hovering in that, you know, thousand, twelve hundred dollars, depending on options. But the knobs are changed. Ibanez made a real similar knob, but it had a little rubber piece. Looks like this one's had a little repair or something there. This one and the condition it's in, you know, it's got the little crack thing going on there and everything. I'd, I'd say it's probably, you know, 750 bucks or so. Cool. Okay. Yeah, I agree with that. All right, man. Well, I appreciate you coming down. All right. Okay, buddy. All right. All right. Catch you guys later. Nice you. to meet you, man. Yeah. Corey gets this guitar, a player will buy it. It's a good guitar. It plays really good. It sounds nice. There are fanatical Ibanez collectors out there. 750. Okay. I'm not giving him 750. <laughs> That's what we can sell it for. I'll give you. I'll give you 500 bucks, man. Uh, I was hoping a little bit more than that. About six. It's very rare someone comes in and asks for 600 bucks when something's worth 750. I mean, it kind of throws me off my game here. You... Right. How about 550? So I feel like I won. Yeah, I guess so. All right, cool.